Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're gonna to be talking about alignment and distribution in Sketch 3. Now, you might be familiar with some of these features from applications like Illustrator, but luckily for us, Sketch makes it nice and easy to align and evenly distribute your objects that are maybe related or unrelated they makes it really nice and easy to distribute those objects in your document so that your designs are pixel perfect. So let's get started. So here I've created four equal sized squares. They're all 200 by 200 pixels and they're sort of in various positions, right? Well, let's say we wanted to make sure that all of these were in the same vertical alignment. Basically, we wanted all of these to have the same tops and bottoms in line with each other because they're all the same size. If these shapes were a different size, uh, then we'd have to choose between top or bottom. But let's just say we want to have all of these shapes be aligned to the top or the bottom, both because they're squares. How are we going to accomplish that? Well, by selecting these shapes, uh, we can select them just by clicking and dragging here, or you can select shift all of your shapes over here in your layers. But what we have up in the top right here is some alignment and distribution tools. So since we uh, basically these are all the same size, we're just going to click this middle one, which is align vertically. Perfect. So now what that does is it snaps all of our squares into the same vertical alignment. Let's say for some reason we have uh, shapes that are different size. And you can see I even moved one of these here. Uh, now we want all of these to align at the top. It's this link that's directly next to that called align top. If you hover over your mouse over these little icons, they're nice and small. and if you're used to Illustrator, these icons are going to look familiar and you'll know what to do with them. If you're not familiar, uh, basically these icons will make your life a lot easier and you will, uh, basically the icons make sense the more you look at them, but upon first seeing them, you might not know exactly what they're doing. So to get an idea, highlight over it, notice how it says align top. We click that and now they're all aligned at the top. Just likewise, if we click align bottom, they're all going to be aligned at the bottom. Okay, well this is great. This is exactly what we wanted. However, they're all sort of spaced out in any sort of random way. Well, actually let's turn on a web grip for a second here. And we're going to say we know that this shape wants to be over here. And we know that this shape wants to line up with this gutter. So we have our two ends in proper place. We can turn off the scutter now. Uh, let's hide the grid. Uh, we want to align these at the tops first, and then we want to distribute them evenly. So how do we do that? Well, if we want to distribute them horizontally, the button in the far left of your distribute and alignment tools over here is going to be distribute horizontally. We click that. And amazingly, in one second, everything is evenly spaced. Like I said, if you're familiar with these tools for Illustrator, you can breeze through this video because there's nothing different really here. But uh, Sketch makes these tools nice and easy for you. And if you haven't used these tools before, then your life just got easier. Uh, you're not going to have to zoom in to line things up to the pixel value. Uh, of course, maybe you'll want this one to be in, in line with the correct spot and this one to be in line with the correct spot. Okay, so let's say we want to do the same thing vertically. Let's say we want to distribute these vertically. If we click this Distribute Vertically button now, it sort of doesn't know what to do. In fact, if you keep clicking it, it's going to keep sort of being weirder. Uh, so Distribute Vertically is really going to work if your items are in a line vertically like so. We can select them uh, just like we did and select distribute vertically. Likewise, we have these same tools where we can align horizontally. And now we have perfectly in line boxes just like that. And this is really great. Let's say maybe this was a side column or something. Now we can select all these group them together and they're going to remain together. 
So that's a quick one today. We have many more videos coming up in this series. So keep watching. We're going to go over all the basics. We're going to get into some really cool advanced stuff. We're going to get into adding plugins. We're going to get into some iOS stuff and uh, UI kits, symbols. Just keep it going and we're going to cover everything you need to know about Sketch 3. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts and thanks for watching. Bye.